and the eclipse is they say which is to say the sun has died during that time we have to show reverence and respect to the order that the holy people have established that has to occur to put everything back in balance and it is also a time when we as the children of the holy people have to make new promises new commitments uh, to the holy people as to how we live our lives <laughs> And the teachings of our people, we say when we greet one another, and that means on the surface of Mother Earth and everything in the universe it is good. The universal hand sign among native people was to point to the heart and then open the hand and move the hand away and say that from my heart everything on the surface of mother earth is good so the word yat e that we use as a greeting means it is good but the uh, teaching that we're going to share with you is concerns the eclipse but the teachings of our people concerning the eclipse there are many many teachings in that associated with the uh, event of the, the solar eclipse. It is that we are told that we as a people, the Neh, we came from above and then we came down to the surface of Mother Earth and that's what the name that we call ourselves, De Neh. The Neh is what we call ourselves and that means from above to the surface of Mother Earth. And so the uh, relationship that we have or have to have is what's not only our families and our kinship of people, but also we have a kinship to Mother Earth and to Father Sky. And so it is very important to be aware of what happens in the Yedatkith, is what we call the sky, or the universe, or the void. And also we call uh, the Mother Earth the surface place. Nihoka, and so the teachings that apply to our observation of the uh, eclipse is to know that the most powerful thing in our existence that we can see and touch and taste and feel and all these different things actually have their source from the sun. And the sun is actually, when our prayers are said by our old people, they say, which is to say, the sun, my father. But a lot of people don't understand that the sun, as we see it in the sky, is a symbol of the maker, of the father of us all. It is a symbol. And so the sun gives light, and it lights up everything. And it makes it so that we have to understand, without the sun, there is no life. And so that brief moment when we recognize the sun and uh, as a symbol of our creator or our maker we call the sun Shatha, which is to say my father and the uh, teaching is that the father is the one that provides all things for us as the five finger being he provides us with joy happiness confidence and peace but we have to decide if we want joy, happiness, confidence, and peace. is what we are told. And the eclipse is, they say, which is to say, the sun has died. And so during that particular time where the sun has died, there is a lot of symbol and symbolism and teachings and that associated with that event. It is that during that time we have to show reverence and respect to the order that the holy people have established. And so that has to occur to put everything back in balance and realignment. And it is also a time when we as the children of the holy people have to make new promises, new commitments 
uh, to the holy people as to how we live our lives. And so the uh, event after the, uh, the solar eclipse occurs, that it is like a coming back to life, a rebirth, and the uh, time when we have to recognize that at some point in time we will all pass into the next world, we will die. But we also have to understand that we will be made alive again and we will be renewed in the next world. And so the teachings are in alignment with the teachings of the holy people as to show us that the sun dies and then the sun comes back to life again. And so the, during that time period, we are to remain indoors and to understand that Taho Te Yin, Taho Te Sendo, which means it is a sacred time and we must keep all things sacred in recognizing the event. And so as we sit indoors, we are quiet. We don't laugh foolishly. We don't joke around. And we take the time to think what the holy people have provided us with as far as our environment here on the surface of Mother Earth. And that all life is given by the holy people and by our Father, Nikita. So the uh, teaching of being quiet and being reverent, being respectful, is very important. And to take the time to make new commitments. In the old days, when the eclipse was taking place or after the eclipse, eclipse had occurred, our people would sing songs, Inasen, which is life song, or Ni'ichisen, which is the songs of birth or rebirth, and then also the uh, other songs in that that involve the uh, protection song, self-protection song, Achasen, and also Achasotazen. These prayers and songs were sung and said by our people during the time when the eclipse of the sun occurred. And so there was a lot of reverence and respect in keeping things sacred during that time period. And we were told never to look at the sun. And even during the eclipse that you do not look, it will make you blind or it can cause other sicknesses. And it is that we are told, even when there is, a, there is an absence of the sunlight for that brief amount of time, that there is an effect on the earth, on Mother Earth. And so we are to understand that all things that happen on the surface of Mother Earth actually come from Father Sky. So if there was going to be a massive destruction, it would come from above. And here in our environment, the sun rises in the in the east and sets in the west. We as the children of the holy people are right in the middle. It is that particular place that we are to maintain balance, that there be beauty before us, behind us, below us, above us, and all around us, and to recognize that our holy people, they want us to have joy, happiness, confidence, and peace in our existence here. And so they give us signs, they give us events, where we can make new commitments and make new promises and to improve our lives as we make our life and to make correct choices. And so today there are so, so many things that are different that the uh, way that we people are looking at the sun, they have these special glasses and that and a special type of equipment to, to view the eclipse. And it is that uh, People are free to do what they need to do or want to do. And we, as the net, don't impose our beliefs and our understanding of things on other people. But uh, it is that we can say, take the time as to understand this is a renewal and to renew your efforts in your life and to be able to uh, experience joy, happiness, confidence, and peace. And the things that you do and the things that you think of, the things you plan and the way you live your life with the idea of hope and faith. And these are the teachings that we receive based on all of the things that we are told. Yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. Okay.